Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Leo. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. It will not resonate with every Leo and it will not resonate with every Leo cross watcher. Please take it resonates only the rest. But if you have someone rising or Venus placements in Leo or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading can resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all the extended readings that I do for one flat rate. If you're click interested in that, there is a link in the description box to join, or you can click the red join button below. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok. If you're interested in collective readings, you can find the links to both in the description box. All right, what's going on with my Leo collective for this week? What's going on? So we have the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, the Eight of Wands in reverse. So somebody wants to reach out to you, but they're not. Somebody wants to communicate something, but that's not happening. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody's the Page of Swords in reverse. Oh, somebody may not be reaching out to you because they don't know if you're single or not. The Lovers. The tower in reverse. Yeah, they don't want, they're trying to, they're, they're trying to, they're not reaching out because they're trying to avert a disaster or trying to prevent something from happening. I feel like they're not going to be able to, the somebody's not going to take it well if they reach out to you and you're in a relationship, okay? But I don't feel like you guys are. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. Somebody just doesn't know if you've left them behind or not or... I have cups in reverse. Somebody's releasing like some regrets, some disappointment, some sadness about the past here. Yeah. Mm. I don't think that this is, if you feel like you've heard the last of this person, you haven't. I'm just going to say that. This is somebody that, what is, why is the lovers here for Leo? The moon. What about the moon? The star in reverse. Ooh, somebody's afraid that this is something that won't. They Somebody's losing hope here. Somebody's not hopeful. I feel like somebody feels like you really have like gotten fed up with them this time. That's what I'm getting from this. Somebody really feels like you have really thrown in the towel with them. You, you're fed up with them. That's what their fear is that, you know, all hope is lost when it comes to this situation. Because connection, they do feel a very deep connection to you. What is this lovers about when it comes to my uh, Leos? Somebody is, has made a decision here. What decision did they make that they want to manifest? Okay. That flu. They want to manifest something or they do want, but why are they not doing it? <laughs> why the four swords? They're waiting. What are they waiting on? This person is trying to wait for you to let your guard down with them or... Yeah, I feel like this person, for some reason, they want you to come towards them first, okay? That's what I'm going to... They want you to let your guard down, or they want you to communicate with them, but I don't think you guys are going to do it, okay? They want you to be the one to extend the olive branch in this situation. Try to make amends. This person's afraid of what, what will happen if they were to reach out to you. For some of you, they think that you're with somebody else. What is the Two of Pentacles in reverse? The Empress in reverse, and... The Three of Pentacles and the Sun. Yeah, it's like somebody's not does feels like you don't want to work on this anymore. Or like this, there's this isn't going to grow into anything, or this isn't going to progress. What's the Empress in Reverse mean for Leo? The Six of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Judgment and the Emperor in Reverse. I just see that this person has made up their mind about you. Um, they do want to like have balance things out with you, but they're not telling you this. All right. They want another chance, but I don't see them taking the initiative to ask for another chance here. Why is the page of swords in reverse? The death in reverse. It's like this person doesn't know if this is like a done deal or not. If it's just done, done between the two of you, or if this is just like something temporary. Why are the five of pentacles in reverse? The three of cups and reverse the 10 of swords. Oof. What's that to do with Leo? You guys are no longer, what about some pentacles in reverse, the queen of pentacles? You guys are like no longer waiting for this person to see your worth and your value. What did this person do? Because I'm getting, 
the Ace of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Ooh, what's this have to do with Leo? Ooh. Like you guys might have found out about something that this person still is not telling you the truth about like you guys know something happened but they're still not telling you the truth for some of you this person had somebody new or so there was another person here they what does this ace of cups mean for what does this ace of cups mean for leo what does this ace of cups mean for leo the page of wands in reverse and the two of wands in reverse Hmm. They maybe don't know if they, what is this? Tell me more. I just see them not reaching out to you. You guys are no longer confused. And yeah, I feel like you guys don't, are not afraid to walk away from this person anymore. You're not afraid to, if this ends, like some of you guys are afraid of losing this person. I don't feel like you guys are afraid of them anymore or afraid of that anymore can you guys give me i'm okay we'll do it in the oracle cards but let's see where the feminine is at in the situation let's see where the masculine is at all right so where what's the feminine energy when it comes to this situation for leo what's the feminine energy when it comes to this situation you are too darn selfish Ooh, you guys feel like this person is selfish as hell I am still in love with you. Yeah, you, but you guys haven't, you still love this person, but you feel like they're selfish. All right, what's the masculine? Where's the masculine at here? All right, where's the masculine at when it comes to the situation? You might as well give me a pet name, put a collar around my neck, that has a tag with your address on it. That way I can be returned to the to the owner when I am lost. What? This person feels like you're controlling. I am still haunted by my past. What? Tell me more about this. You might as well give me a pet name crap. I feel like you're trying to control them. I am not mature and I'm not good at life yet. So this person is just super immature, guys. They don't, they're not ready to be tied down. They're not ready to be in a commitment, but I feel like they do want you. They do feel a connection to you. Yeah, I'm holding all my emotions to myself. Yeah, they're not communicating. Let's get one more card for the feminine too. Wow. You disappointed me. You guys are super disappointed in this person. Mm-mm. Come out of the shell already. You guys know that this person's not opening up to you or they're not telling you certain things. I told you. It's like some of you guys already know, but they're not telling you. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So let's get a little bit more clarity. here for my leos and this person what do they need to know or we have opposite so yeah you and this person are just not on the same page right now or you that's how you feel that you guys are like on two different spectrum like two different ends of the spectrum this person's really maybe stuck like somebody is maybe very stuck in their ego a lot of somebody else is very you know more open to this you guys have some differences that are causing yeah we have sex what about sex work okay what does this have to do with leo what does this have to do with leo proof Ooh, so I told you, some of you guys know that this person, you guys know that they did something, but they're not telling you. Some of you guys know that this person maybe slept with somebody at their job. Proof of what? Home. Okay. What about home healing? Okay. So... I don't know. If it's not that, guys, what, is this, what does sex have to do with Leo? 
Heartbreak. I'm telling you, this person slept with somebody else. Somebody acted on their sexual desires and it caused an ending here possibly. Or you guys just felt like this person lusted after you, but they didn't love you. Tell me more about heartbreak and sex for Leo. Hot and cold. Inconsistency, lack of clarity. You guys don't know. Maybe some of you guys think that something happened, but you don't know for sure. Because I feel like you guys are trying to look for proof here. But what about work? What does work mean for Leo? Inner knowing that what? Protection? What's this mean for this person they're dealing with? Trapped? What are they trapped in? What does that mean? What are they trapped in? Freedom. They're trying to free themselves from something. Or they're just not, they're not ready for a commitment. Yeah. So some of you guys think this person may be cheating on you. Or they're maybe sleeping with somebody else. They just want to just sleep with you or something like that. But I, for first of all, work could be an issue. Like they could be a workaholic or they would have a demand, demanding job. I feel like this person is not trying to hurt you. Okay, but I do feel like they just don't, they know that they're not ready for a relationship and they feel very stuck. Like they just don't feel like this. They just, they don't want to feel tied down or trapped. Like they just are in like, they're immature. They're not ready for something stable and committed. And you know what I mean? Like, so they're not trying to hurt you, but they just know that they're not ready. All right. But what's this breakthrough that's going to happen for them? What's this breakthrough? Took a long time. What's it for this person they're dealing with? regret Ooh, this person's gonna regret taking too long to make a decision about this connection to reach out to you to express something to you they're gonna they're gonna run out of time okay i feel you're about to cut your losses with this person because you've been waiting for them to express i definitely feel like you're trying to figure out what the truth is what are they cheating on me what's the problem do they not like me or do this one have slit sex with me but um yeah what's this divine intervention that's about to happen here clean up so somebody's about to the vines intervening to help what's this mean for leo is this you or them twin flame oh you guys are triggering some type of why is someone angry Ooh. so i definitely see there being time apart for you okay i see uh healing i see you healing i see that this relationship is going to trigger a lot of growth in you and this person the divine's intervening in some way i feel like to trigger you to clean up your life and get some shit together for you and some and this person to do the same thing um maybe you and this person both need to find happiness apart from each other okay but it's like this person does feel very like um like you are their home or something like that but um yeah this could be a twin flame connection this person's not going they're gonna be very triggered by you be focusing on yourself looking good without them and i feel like it's actually going to trigger this person to to get their life together and we have engagement on the back of the deck yeah this person so we're going to take, like, I'm not going to do, we're not going to do it. We're at 13 minutes. What else do you need to know about this? We have paralyzed. Pa yeah, this person's afraid of love, or afraid of commitment. Memories because of maybe something that happened in the past. We have dry spell. What does that have to do with anything? This person hasn't been in a relationship. They're not used to being in long-term relationships. Maybe you and this person are both, ha have not really had any progress in relationships or in love. Maybe both of you guys have been single for quite some time. What else do we need to know about this? We have plastic and we have mixed feelings. This person doesn't know how they feel. They're a little bit confused right now. They don't know if this is real love between the two of you. Okay, so what do they need to know about that? Broken promises. Yeah, they're misleading you because they don't know. They're confused and they're misleading you. They, they feel like they're, they're, they could be exploring other options or they're afraid if they jump, they're afraid to jump into this. Yeah, so that just means for Leo it's like you guys are wanting this to be something like you want to build be with somebody you can be a power couple with i feel like with this person at least for how they are right now it's un yes it's unsustainable you're gonna have to set boundaries with this person because they're not on the same page as you okay one-sided love not enough attraction feelings are not mutual and we have boundaries are needed okay um but yeah there's something here about timing the timing could just be off for you and this person this person needs to grow I do see that at some point this person is going to open their heart. Yep. They're going to want to reconcile. They're going to want to work things out. Yeah. They're going to realize that they did love you or their feelings are going to grow with time. Our absence makes the heart grow fonder type energy there. All right. So I read this I for cancer. I did this card in the, um, I don't know why I'm feeling drawn to, to do these cards. We are going to extend this reading. If you're interested in that, you can join my channel. The link to join is in the description box or you can click the red join button. Um, or, um, 
you can there's a just an individual link to just purchase just the extended reading for this um in the description box as well okay but i'm gonna pull a starseed oracle card i don't know i felt drawn to do these today to wrap up the reading and they kind of are long i'm gonna read the read it out of the book for you guys leo what do my leos need to know right now okay that's too many cards these cards are actually pretty freaking hard to shuffle. I'm gonna shuffle it like how I used to shuffle my cards. <laughs> Cause I cannot do it the way I normally do it. Okay, well we have two, I'm not taking two. One please spirit, one card. Cause these are very long. One card spirit. All right, there we go. We have empathetic star seed, energetic sovereignty, absorbing what's not yours. Oh, interesting. All right, it might take me a minute to find this, guys. They're not numbered or anything, so. Oh, they're in alphabetical order. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, so it says empathetic star seeds are here to shift the world through the physical present through their pre physical presence alone. They don't need to do anything beyond here. Th thanks to the energetic change their physical presence causes. Due to their highly sensitive nature, empathic star seeds can struggle with being on earth and in a physical body. Many are prone to addiction and depression or tend to mistake other people's feelings and moods for their own. Yeah, because I keep getting this energy of you guys, like, not knowing. Like, wanting, like, is something being hidden from me? Like, is there something I'm not knowing about this person? Like, there's a lot of the things you guys may be feeling and being feeling paranoid about might not be yours. Okay, I'm just going to be, tell you, like, how I feel, what I'm seeing here. Many are prone to addiction and depression or tend to mistake other people's feelings and moods for their own. Natural introverts, they tend to prefer spending time alone or in small groups. Crowds can be overwhelming for them. If this card appears, considering, consider lightening the load energetically. Don't put yourself under such pressure to go out into the world. Be gentle with yourself. Allow extra time and care to recover energetically. If you're feeling pressure to keep up a certain pace instead, but on the put on the brakes and treat yourself like a precious baby. Do whatever you can to take the pressures off of the world off of your plate. Switch off to switch back on. In today's world, it's normal to feel that we should be doing more, but perhaps being present in our life is enough. This could be a phase you're going through or simply how you're being called to live your life. If your work involves giving to others, right now you're being called to keep something to, for yourself. Oh, you don't need to transmute it all. It's okay to look after your own growth and healing before feeling you should offer it to the world. Indeed, it's necessary if you want to continue to do so sustainably. Okay, let me reread that last line. Indeed, it's necessary if you want to continue to do it so... Why is this like... God, like I cannot read it. It's necessary if you want to continue to do so sustainably. The question I want you to ask yourself, how can you take better care of yourself energetically? Okay, so... I'm going to take this over to the extended reading now, guys. I already explained all that previously. Um, link in the description box. Join button below if you want to become a member of my channel. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you can take something from this reading. Um, and don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links to both in the description box. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And I will talk to you soon or I'll see you over in the extended reading. Bye.